Whether you're a leadership pro or dipping your toes in a leadership pool, this is, there is something valuable here for all of us here. Hi, I'm Sanjita, and as a mid-level leader, I act as a friendly bridge builder between the rock star folks who make things happen and the uh, people who take the decision and tell us what to do. So I make sure that they're listening to the same playlist and dancing on the same groove. And I know it sounds difficult. It is, it is a lot difficult. So let me give you some example to make this thing much more easy for those people. Suppose you're playing a game. You select a captain who is trustworthy, reliable, and can keep his promises. Similarly, you must build a relationship with your team and upper management to gain their trust and respect. Once you do that, that's when you become a superhero of a team. A conductor plays a beautiful music because he makes sure that he tells each musician what note to play. Likewise, you have to know your visions and goals clearly so that you can tell your team what exactly you want. But it's not only about that. You have to also actively listen to the thoughts and ideas of the team so that you can have an open conversation, which will make them easy to come on board and understand what exactly it is about. Mentoring and coaching, it's like watering a plant. And when you do it, you feel happy when you see a plant thriving and showing up the flowers. And the similar feeling you will get once your team achieves their goals and they become superstar in their role. As a talent scout, when you find a potential leader in your team, it's like finding a hidden gem. But just like the gem needs polishing and care, the same way as you, as a mid-level leader, you are learning from the higher authorities, you have to make sure that you give them chances to grow. And once you do that, you give the potential leaders for the future of the company, and thus leading to the company's sustainability. For the sports team, uh, okay. So the teacher, she keep herself updated with all the new and educational style, as well as she learns about the rules and regulation of the school. Correspondingly, you have to keep up yourself updated with all the new, ever-changing landscaping about the engineering things that are coming up. This will empower you to make the informed decision because you know what's going on at both the levels, and when you make these confident choices, it will help the team to understand that, okay, somebody's thinking about me as well. A coach knows what motivates a team, what drives each team member, as well as what leads to the success of an owner. And correspondingly, you have to know what's a driving force for each team member, as well as comprehend what motivates the decision makers to take the calculated risk. When you combine these two things, that's when you will achieve a winning goal. So make sure you do that. So let's look at the inevitable challenges that we face all day long. You all must have encountered a situation where you were talking with people and there were difference of opinion. As a mid-level leader, you will be dealing with that more. Why? Because you will be dealing with various levels. But the fact is, no matter what, stay to your beliefs, trust it, and stay honest to yourself. Because once you do that, even if the situation doesn't work out as planned, people will be able to trust you, and that will lead to maintaining your credibility. Resistant to change is natural. We all feel the resistance from all the side when the people don't want to do something. And you will feel more as you will feel the resistance from both the side if you're making some organization changes. But listen to their worries, okay? Acknowledge it, why they don't want to change. Listen it, acknowledge it, and explain them that what's the reason behind all these changes. Once you do that, it might give you them a chance to come on board and play the new game with the new rules with it. This is my favorite. You have to recognize and celebrate the uh, team's accomplishment as well as whatever they achieve. It will motivate them to do better next time, as well as it validates them that whatever they are doing, we value their work. So what's a trick? Be a gardener, be a teacher, be a coach, be a conductor. As a mid-level leader, you have to be a champ. You have to incorporate all those qualities in you. It's a seesaw that you have to balance between understanding that the team matters as well as the organization goals. And once you do that, that will be your golden ticket. You have to understand that you are the compass guiding both the aspirations from the above as well as the efforts from below. Be transparent. Be true to yourself. Thank you.